Well, we've hardly mentioned him coming into this final, but, uh, but we've already seen so far this evening. His bike's working well. It's pulling hard. Yeah. If he can just guess this one right off the start, who knows? Here we go, then. The final in Riga. SGP2. Tapes are up. Away we go, and they're in their first turn, and it's Panitsky. He gets there. Oh, drama there. Kravchik has bitten the dust in the first turn. They're roaring on. We see the red lights. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, fear, fear for Kreshik there. It's all his own mistake. Do you? Is that your gut instinct there? Yeah, I believe so. But let's see. They have been. I wasn't sure. We had that overhead view, and then you see the head-on. It wasn't easy to see, but. Um, he sat up. He's okay. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay, but uh, did he get a nudge or did he go down of his own accord? We'll That's what we're waiting shortly. to find out. Here, Here we, we see it again. Yep. Rider in white. Bike lifts. Doesn't make a great start. He's behind. Uh, he's, he's, he's on his own. You know, it was close. Look yes. at the dirt deflector. Yeah, but I mean, at that point... Playing He's on his bike. Uh, yeah, I'm playing devil's advocate. But, but <laughs> the referee could put all four back. He I hope could. so. He I could. hope so. I hope he does. He has an excuse too. It definitely unsettles him, but he yeah. doesn't get off the bike straight away. He's trying to hang on to it, which you can understand. But the dirt deflector clips the front wheel there. And he's unsettled, legs back, he's all over the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, he could he could have a reprieve there. The referee certainly has a decent excuse to put a full four back in. So we wait for the decision. No, the exclusion lights on. He's gone. Oh, that's disappointment for Kravchik, who's had a terrific night of speedway. Ends in disappointment there. Just got unsettled going in the first turn, and uh, just couldn't quite save it. And uh, this is quite an extraordinary night for that man. His dad's there with him. He's got some decent advice and, there. And, and now all of a sudden he's got more Greg. racing room because there's no rider on gate three. And for Mick Anderson, <laughs> could he pick up a win here? That would, would be quite a story, wouldn't it? It would be quite a story indeed. Panitsky will be just a touch frustrated. He was away. He's got to do it all again. Prozemski, well, he's got, uh, as long as that motorbike keeps going and he doesn't do anything daft, he's got 16 points guaranteed here. He'll move on to 36 in total. So uh, riders will make their way around to the start for the second time here. A couple of the Polish boys have just got themselves in trouble. Shostak we saw earlier on. He got himself in a bit of a two and eight there and did a pirouette. He was out. Now we've seen uh, Krasik, uh, something similar. So uh, that's uh, a disappointment for the Polish contingent. They're just down to one representative now. And uh, he happens to be the championship leader. So uh, the three of them will shoot out now for the positions, for the rostrum positions. And will it be that man? Will he uh, get the better of Panitsky on the inside? Or will Nazar Panitsky reproduce the sort of start he did previously well it uh, you'd think so he's been only been nerves will hold him back it yeah. would only be if he gets a little bit twitchy tries to anticipate it that might be a problem Panitsky on the inside in red Brzezemski gate number two in blue no rider in gate number three and on the outside is Miko Anderson who's had quite an extraordinary run through to this stage yeah, it's great and he's going to be on the rostrum uh, here this evening Panitsky's dropped his only point in heat 14. He has looked pretty special tonight, and he's also able to do it from the back. I don't think he'll need to coming off gate one. Here we go then, second time of asking for the final. Green light comes on. Oh, Przemski oh, just crept a bit on the start there. And it's Panitsky who hits the front. Anderson's around the outside. He's got pace. Oh, he's on the comes. inside. Oh, that's tight going into turns three and four. He's pushing on. Mikhail Anderson and Panitsky. Panitsky just about gets his nose in front at the conclusion of the first lap. Brzezinski was a touch nervous there. Moved on the start line, but Panitsky's away now. Yeah, Mikhail Anderson is a young man. If he'd have just been a little tougher on Panitsky, I think he would have been able to make his way through on that opening lap. Tell you what, he's carrying more speed. The bike's going forward. He's going to go past him. 
Here we go then. Mikel Anderson coming on. Panitsky just about holding firm out in front. What a battle it is in first and second. Look at this from Mikel Anderson. What a ride. What a ride round the outside. Oh, he's got it wrong oh, now. No. Oh, he's got oh, it. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, big crash. Yeah. Big crash. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. That was a cracking ride. And it looks like Panitsky wins. Panitsky wins. Concerns for that man. He's okay. He's okay. Oh, he'd ridden his heart out there, Mikel Anderson. I really feel for the young man because that was a superb ride. Well, Nazar Panitsky has been the best man on the night consistently. You've got to say that. But Mikel Anderson, what an effort. He ends up on his backside in the pit gate. And Nazar Panitsky wins the second round of the SGP World Championship here in Riga this evening. Many congratulations to him. Prozemski comes through probably a touch bewildered about what's gone on. He picks up 18 points in second place. And unfortunately for Mikel Anderson, just overdoing it there. The bike got the better of him. Well, we've said it all night, haven't we? How difficult that bike has been to ride. It really has. It's had the speed, but it's been difficult to ride. Yeah, he finishes... He didn't finish there, but uh, I'm presuming he will be in the roster in third place. But uh, no, the conclusion to the night. Panitsky wins the final here in Riga. Victor Prasimski coming through in second place. It kind of fell right for him, didn't it? Mikel mm. Anderson there in third place. And of course, the exclusion to Jakub Kreshik in the initial staging of the final. Good to see that he's okay because that was an awkward looking moment yeah. for Mikel Anderson. And uh, a great race was developing there, wasn't it? It was terrific stuff. He'd done everything right. He'd been brave. It, it, it worked out that he was generating enough speed in the dirt, which really hadn't seen much of uh, as far as overtaking goes this evening. But he'd worked it out. He'd got the bike going faster than Panitsky. You can't take it away from Panitsky, though. All night, he's been quickest on track. He's had quick times. He's been well, winning races. He dropped one point. He's been making starts. You know, just cannot take it away from you. I see there, Pajemski just takes a second stab at it. The referee could have pulled it back. Tapes, you know. No, I don't think so. The referee done the right thing in letting the race go. He's at the back. Mikkel Anderson looked like he was actually going to be able to get up the inside here. If it had been a little bit more forceful and come in maybe a little tighter, just straight lined it across the corner, he would have come out in front. But uh, he didn't need to because later on he just worked out that it was the outside that was uh, generating a lot of speed for him. Bike pulling all the time. I tell you what, I don't think I'd want to have been riding it. Uh, the guys in the pits have said, well, we'll give you the speed, but you've got to hang on. And uh, here we see him just getting it wound up. And he gets around the outside of Panitsky, who again is fair, gives him the racing room. There, brilliant move. And at this point, all he's got to do now is just pin it down on the curb, ride around the last lap. Just lets it get in the dirt. His arms have got tired. The oh. falling, and the fence moves, and he stops very quickly. It's a good job he's a young man. I tell you what, I would not have wanted to be riding it now. No, definitely <laughs> no, not. Because time, uh, yeah. that you are not in control of your own destiny now. And look how quickly stops Whoa. because he hits the end of the air fence, doesn't he? Yeah. Tricky moment there. I for... think he's just got tired. I think he's put so much effort into those four laps, well, three laps. That he's just run out of steam once the bike grabs, but you see the air fence here just moves back and then he hits the other one almost end on and stops him completely. He's okay though, and that's good he's news. He was able to get up onto his feet. Dramatic uh, end to the evening, that's for sure. So uh, here is the uh, points for round number two in the SGP2. Panitsky picks up 20 points, Prashemsky 18, Anderson 16, Kravchik 14. Uh, we've run through the points previously with Polstad, Pedersen, Henriksen, Shostak. They were the semi finalists, and then the riders um, uh, then on down who didn't make the top eight here this evening. So we'll uh, look at the uh, World Championship standings now. It's good news for Viktor Przemski, that's for sure. An eight-point lead now over Nazar Panitsky, who rockets up into second place. Mikhail Anderson in third on 28. Shostak still there on 25 with every chance. But 23 points to Bamba. Polstad likewise. 22 for Hellstrom Banks and Kravchik, 20. 20 points available, of course in Torren at the end of the month, but uh, you've got to believe that uh, 
Viktor Prashevsky at home at Torun will be uh, in the driving seat. special moment that is for Nazar Panitsky. You know, for him personally, it's a special moment to stand on top of the rostrum, but also what's going on in his homeland as well. I mean, that makes his country proud. Fantastic moment for himself and the Ukraine. It's a, a terrific night of Speedway. And, uh, as we uh, leave here, or well, those lads leave here and move on towards Tor, and Viktor Przemski, of course, will be very satisfied with the way it uh, worked out. It was a dramatic conclusion to the final, but uh, nonetheless, it uh, transpires that um, uh, he has an eight-point lead going into Torrum with just uh, one round to go. Yeah, I think he'll be wondering quite how he's leaving here with an eight-point lead. It's been quite a, a mixed night for him, but um, full congratulations to Nezal Panitsky. Fantastic performance on the night. And Mikkel Anderson, youngest rider in the lineup, should be highly proud of his performance. And yeah, absolutely. He's head up high. Sure. Absolutely. So, uh, fantastic uh, night here in SGP. Two, and a nice uh, taster for what's to come tomorrow, of course.